Okay guys, so I'm gonna make this bag that they ordered and it's for swimming. So I wanted to show you really quick the bags. These are the bags that I'm selling. And they're pretty big. They are 16 by 14. Look at how big they are. Aren't they gorgeous? They're really pretty. So let's get started. And the first thing that I'm going to add on here is this. It's a little swimming design and the last name. Look at how cute that is. So we're going to make sure we got it on nice and straight. And it is really big. So I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler. That's what guides me through the whole thing. Just to make sure that I'm not way too off or way too close. I'm going to leave the heat guide down below so you can go ahead and check that out as well. While I'm checking this out, I want to make sure that my measurements are really close. And that's really good. If you need to move it, move it. Well, you can move it down. Usually, I try to measure it like this and then move it down. Because that's what guides me are the handles. Well, that's what guides me anyways. Then when you got it ready, make sure it's not crooked. Make sure the name is nice and straight. Okay, so that's perfect. So you saw how that pressed already because it is ready, nice and hot. The temperature is at 350 and I'm going to do 50, 50 seconds and then flip it into 15 on the back as well. Once you have it nice and ready, we're going to go ahead and get a sheet. We're going to place it on top and then we're going to press it and hold it for 50. Now the um, heat guy said um, firm grip. So that means you got to press it nice and firm. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and leave the discount for the vinyl, the decal, as well as my instagram down below in case you want to go check that out and my email in case you have any questions i'm always happy to answer them or in case you want to order your own custom bag i charge i'll leave that down below i think it's 20 dollars for each bag because you have to pay shipping no matter what you guys you have to pay the shipping i wish i could ship it for free for everyone but unfortunately i cannot so it is almost done so once this is done, it's going to beep and we're going to turn it around and do 15. You saw how that, yep, that heats up. We're going to turn it around and do 15. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring it down to 15. Uh, 15. Once it's ready, we're going to do that one. So how is everyone? I just wanted to make this video really quick to show you the size of the bags because people keep asking me about these tote bags and the size is 16 by 14 I think. I'll write it down down below but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. This is ready. Now we're going to let it dry because it says peel on cold dry. So we're just going to go ahead and let this dry until we're ready to peel it off. So let's go ahead and let that dry. Meanwhile, let's talk about how's your day. Mine is going fabulous. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'll leave all my links and tips down below. I also have a playlist all about this machine. If you want to go check this out so you could get started on your own, that'll be fun as well. So let's let this dry. Once you let it dry and it's nice and cool to the touch, you're going to go ahead and grab the corner. And you're gonna peel it off and that should be your final result isn't that cute this is gonna be a bag for I guess somebody who's going swimming and they need a bag so I thought that would be really cute now I'm also gonna go ahead and do the back of it so on the back we're gonna flip it and on the back we're adding this isn't that cute so just like that, I want to make sure this is right there. I think right there would be very cute to add that. I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that's exactly where I want it. It just says splash. 
I thought this was super cool. If you don't want to add your name on there, but you do want to add something, I think this is very cool. So that's exactly where I want it. How does it look, guys? I think that looks good. I'm going to make sure I keep playing with it. This is the good thing about the iron-on vinyl. You can always play with it no matter what. Lift it, bring it down. It's not going to stick until you add the heat to it. Once you add the heat, it's sticking. So let's go ahead and press this. We're going to put the timer on 50. Once you add the heat, guys, make sure you have it exactly where you want it because once you add that heat, it's not coming out at all. It's going to actually stay there. So just make sure you have it exactly where you want it. Do a firm press and don't add your heat until you're ready. Once you're ready, go ahead and add that heat on here. This little thing will guide you through the whole process. Don't worry. Just read on it. I have the heat guide down below, so that'll help you as well, which will give you the time, the temperature, how to wash it, what not to wash it with, um, how to peel the sticker off. If you can peel it while it's cool, completely cool or hot, it'll give you everything. So I'm going to leave that link down below so you can go ahead and check that out. Once it's done, it'll beep and it'll tell you that it is ready. We'll turn it around and we'll flip it and press it for another 15. So six, five, four, three, two, one. It'll beep and that's what guides you through the whole thing. We're gonna turn it around and we're gonna press it for another 15 on this side. So make sure you have your paper on. And let me just bring it down to 15. I don't want to burn anything, which I already have, you guys. <laughs> this takes a lot of skills. People don't get it. And a lot of practice to just, you know, get it right and not mess up the order or not mess up whatever you're going to give your loved one or if it's going to be for a birthday gift, which is a great idea. Let me tell you, a tote bag for a birthday gift, especially here, they charge seven cents for a bag. So you need your reusable bags at all time. Because I'm not going to pay for a bag when I can just grab my own. So we're going to let this cool down. And once it's ready, we'll peel it off. And then our final results. Once you feel that it is ready, it's nice and cool to the touch, you're going to go ahead and lift it carefully. If anything does like that happens to come up, I'm going to show you really quick. Grab your sheet again. And press it for another 10 or 15 just so it sticks really nice and firm to your bag that is another great trick and then once you're done with that and you're gonna remove it and it's gonna beep and then you'll take another look at it and make sure that it is nice and pressed in there see nice and pressed nothing lifting and that is just a little tip that I learned while I'm making these bags so in case it does lift, press it again. Don't get scared, press it again. Let it dry, nice and cool. And there you go, you have your custom um, personalized tote bag. You're ready to go swimming, take this to the beach, take this anywhere you need to carry your stuff. And until next time, bye you guys.